Hi everyone, um, I'm back with another lesson about telling time and exploring the different parts of an analog clock and telling time using an analog clock. So today we're going to tell time to the hour using this analog clock right here. Now, before we start, I want us to review the different parts of a clock and then I want us to review the different numbers. Remember, these are the larger numbers on an analog clock and they tell us the hour that we're in. Now, this is the face of the clock. This is the hour hand, remember it's shorter. This is the minute hand, it is longer. And these numbers around here tell us the hour that we're in. So let's review those numbers. So we always put the 12 in the middle and on the top in the middle and we start there. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we're back up to the 12. So we're going to practice telling time to the hour. Now, in order to tell time to the hour, you will need to have the minute hand on the 12. So I'm gonna move it to the 12. Now, anytime we're telling time to the hour, this minute hand or the long hand needs to always stay here to the 12 and it stays there. We do not move it at least when we're telling time to the hour. So we're not gonna move it for this lesson. So it's going to stay here. Now, the hour hand is going to be the hand that moves around and tells us what hour that we're in. So let's see. The hour hand right here, I'm going to put it right here. It's pointing to the three. Now, since the hour hand is on the three and the minute hand is on the 12, we're at three o'clock. That is the correct way to say the time. So our analog clock is showing us that the time is three o'clock. Now remember, when you're telling time to the hour, that means we're just focusing on the hour. We're not focusing on the minute hand or the minutes that we have. So that means, remember, the minute hand will always stay here looking at the pointing to the 12. And the hour hand is gonna be the hand that moves around in today's lesson. So let me see, I'm gonna move the hour hand here. Now it's pointing at a new number. So can you say out loud what number it's pointing to? I want everyone to say it out loud. Now, if you set the number two, that is correct. So the hour hand is pointing at two. And remember, the minute hand stays pointing here because we're not gonna move it, okay? Because we're only focusing on telling time to the hour. Now, because our hour hand is pointing to the two, that means it's two o'clock. Now, let's move the hour hand. Okay, let's move it here. Now, the hour hand is pointing to the six, and remember, we're leaving our minute hand here because we're only telling time to the hour today. So our hour hand is pointing to the six. So that means this clock is telling us it is six o'clock. Now, what, at wherever the hour hand goes, that is going to be the hour that we're in. So let's see, I'm gonna move it somewhere else. Okay, now, where is the hour hand pointing to now? What number is it? Say it out loud. Now, if you set the number eight, you are correct. The hour, the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, is pointing to the eight. So that means it is eight o'clock. I'm gonna move it again. Okay, right here. Now, what time is the analog clock telling us now? I want you to say our answer out loud or pause this video if you need time to think. So since the hour hand is pointing to the 10 
And remember our minute hand stays here because we're only telling time to the hour. So we're only focusing on moving this hour hand. So if it's since it's pointing to the 10, that means this analog clock says it's 10 o'clock. Now I'm gonna move it up. Now it's pointing somewhere else. Now, can you tell me what time it is? Make sure to pause this video if you need to think about your answer. Now it's 11 o'clock. Now, how do I know that it's 11 o'clock? I want you to say how you know it's 11 o'clock. Now, we know it's 11 o'clock because my hour hand, which remember it's the shorter hand, is pointing to the number 11. And then the minute hand is here on the 12 and we're not moving it because we're only telling time to the hour. So that means it's 11 o'clock. Now, what happens when the hour hand and the minute hand are both pointing to the 12? Now, pause the video right now if you need to think about the answer and then press play when you're ready to hear my explanation. Now, just because both the hour hand and the minute hand are pointing to the 12, it doesn't mean that it's going to be something different. It's gonna be the same like how it was with the other numbers. Since the hour hand is pointing to the 12, it is 12 o'clock. Now the minute hand never moved throughout this whole lesson because we're only telling time to the hour. So just because both the hour hand and the minute hand are pointing to the 12, doesn't mean that anything's changed. It's still 12 o'clock. Now let's do one more again. Okay, now my hour hand is pointing to the five. So the hour hand tells us what hour we're in. So since it's pointing to the five, what time are we in everyone? It's five o'clock. And remember, when we're telling time to the hour, we're just focusing on these big numbers around our clock. So that is it for today's lesson. Make sure you practice telling time at home with your analog clock. Good luck, you guys. See you in the next lesson. Bye.